<sighs> San Amy fans rejoice because issue two has got a lot of good San Amy stuff for you if you like, you know, San Amy. Mm. Why do I feel like I'm referencing Sonic Boom right now? What's going on, guys? The sheriff is here with the shooting stars behind him, which makes the shooting star sheriff, if you, you know, read it from, you know, left to right, like, you know, traditional, you know, Americans do. If you live in another part of the world where you read the opposite way, then you can totally call me Sheriff Shooting Star. I totally would be okay with that, actually. <laughs> I totally would love that, actually. But I'm here talking to you guys about issue number two of Sonic the Hedgehog, the IDW Sonic. Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, adaptation that has I uh, picked up while I was gone. So I, like I told you guys in the first video, picked up the first two issues, and I was like, oh, if somebody maybe watches that video and likes it, then I'll do another one. And guess what? It got one view. So <laughs> guess what? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so you know, thank you that one person that watched that video, making me feel good about myself. And I hope that you are having a great day as well, guys. But I, I, if you guys don't know, um, this is just a little random spinoff thing where I'm just going to talk about uh, these issues of Sonic IDW comics because I recently have been enjoying them um, and I feel like I should just share my enjoyment for Sonic with you guys and with the comic book. Now, precursor note, you don't need, if this is your first video that you're checking out, you don't need any precursor knowledge of Sonic to get into this comic. Um, he goes fast and he has friends that he uses to fight an evil dude that wants to take over the world. And it's pretty much the gist of it. So there, you're all caught up. But if you are a fan of the blue blur and you're you know picked up on his games maybe you played the recent one sonic oh wolf the recent one was sonic mania plus <laughs> I'm, I, I mean sonic forces yeah the the mediocre one yeah if you but if you are familiar with sonic lore and you have played sonic forces idw actually picks up after the events of sonic forces so Maybe if you're a little bit interested in what you want, what would happen after Forces, but not really, maybe you should read it. I'm trying way too hard. Let's get into this. Um, Sonic is basically racing off to the, uh, he's racing off to the neighboring town where the, you know, where some more badniks were hanging out. And Sonic's actually taking, taking on the giant crab badnik. You know, the one that you took down in Sonic Forces with your OC character? Yep. Same crab, same crab bot. They're still out there, crawling, doing the crab walk. I like it. I like the crab. Did you, did you notice that I like the crab? So, Sonic's, Sonic's fighting this thing. He's taking it down right outside of the neighboring town. And everyone's like, oh, Sonic, you're so cool. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. But then the thing's about to, like, do an attack. And then Amy just comes in with her hammer and, like, demolishes the thing. And I like her one-liner when she shows up. She's like, you're getting sloppy, Sonic. And, and, and the Sonic's literally in like, hey, yo, why are you here? And Amy's like, I heard that you and Tails were wrecking stuff. So I ran over because I thought you'd probably be this way. And he's like, oh, <laughs> bye. And she's like, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's like, wait, hold on. I she was like, I actually came out here to find you. And Sonic is like, well, that's what you kind of do. You kind of look for me, you know. Heroes. I, almost, I, I was presumably dead in forces. Like, you just look for me. <laughs> you know, ever since Sonic CD. No biggie, that's what you do. But she really talks more about, like, how she wants him to join the Resistance. And... And Sonic is talking to her about, like, what Tails has told him from the previous issue. Like, hey, the robots are being a lot more organized. And Tails is worried. So it's starting to bother me, too. So I want to look more into it. And then Amy's like, well, then that's reason for you to work with us in the Resistance. And Sonic's like, no, I do my own thing. That's you guys. You guys are the Resistance. You know, I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm going to beat robots up and, you know, skedaddle along. And as, you know, as Amy's trying to convince him of everything, uh, one of the villagers comes over and is like, hey, there's more robots that are attacking. So Sonic's like, all right, you know, the crab bot was a decoy. There were some other bots that were just kind of jumping in. They're going to try and, you know, wreck house. So we're going to go in here and we're going to help. 
um so which is cool because you get to see some more like original characters i guess and you know throughout the issues which i i like i said in the last one i really like the continuity that they're pulling like they're just trying to keep it cohesive so that's really neat um but it's really cool because you get to see amy and sonic just kind of really be an actual functioning team i never thought i'd say that I mean, probably outside of Sonic Boom, where I actually like Amy's character, but that's that's for a different story. I'm not gonna go into that. Maybe I will, but no, let's just let's just not let's just not. But you really get to see Amy and Sonic kind of cooperating together, uh, just trying to take down the first wave, and you know, and her kind of calling the shots, you know. And Sonic even makes a little funny quip about it, and he's just like, "I thought Knuckles was the commander." And then Amy's like, yeah, he did that, but who you think kept everything organized? And I was like, oh, he's saying Knuckles ain't doing shit. He's like, oh, Knuckles ain't doing jack, bro. So that was kind of funny. I found that funny. I don't know. Maybe you guys find that funny. I, I just thought that was cool, so that's why I led up to that the way I did. God, you guys are a hard audience. But anyway... You know, they're, they're working together, like, Amy Amy and Sonic are really wrecking house. She's, like, pile-driving everything with the hammer. There's, like, this one scene where Sonic, like, runs, throws her up. She uses her hammer, like, smashes things in the air. And then Sonic comes, like, Sonic runs, catches her. And, like, they've got, like, super good teamwork together. And, like... They're beating everybody up, and then Sonic and Amy's like, "All right, well, will you join the resistance now?" Sonic's like, "Nah, nope." And you know, he's like, "I'm gonna just do what works best for me, and I'm just gonna keep running along and saving people." And they do this really cool where this air fleet shows up, and Sonic is like, "Hey, you want to do that one move?" Uh, uh, the cro the croquette bomber, the croquette bomber. Sonic spins up. Amy like just whacks him into the into the <laughs> into the fleet and then it just explodes. But um, Amy's like, okay, well you're probably gonna leave now because yeah, the, you know the invasion is over. And Sonic's like, yeah, and he, he kind of just goes back to his motto where he's just like, you know, I'm a lit, you know, I just do what I want. I'm you know I'm gonna protect people as I'm you know as I'm doing my thing. And he lives his own way, which Amy is kind of inspired by, and she's kind of like awestruck by him. And and she's like, you know, that's the part about you that I like, and I wouldn't ever change that about you. Which I feel like video game Amy would have probably have never said that. But this is taking place after Forces, so technically this is video game Amy, or is this regular? Or like, are are we are we changing the Amy canon now? Is Amy actually useful? Questions for another video. But um, what what's really cool is Sonic's response, which which I found very surprising. Which I found very surprising because we all know Sonic runs away. Um, but we know in the comics, especially in the Archie comics, that Sonic and Amy can work together. Um, so I like that they they're like pulling it out of the comic book but they're they're kind of like making all the characters kind of useful and kind of playing their own role uh sonic does even ask hey if you want to be hanging out i guess you can just come with me i don't mind it which she's like like just like tail she's like no i have my position i'm with the resistance you know we're gonna we're gonna do our part which was which was really neat and she also tells him where knuckles is at and what knuckles is up to so after that sonic speeds off you know saying bye to amy and then i guess in back at eggman's lab he's like oh i didn't account for how much amy has you know has grown like amy might become you know a problem and and then orbot and cubot are are bringing up an image on a tablet of some people that might be able to finish off Sonic uh, wherever he's heading off to next. And that is basically what happens at the end of this issue. I really enjoyed this issue, guys. Like, it, it kind of took a little bit from, like, I don't know. I feel like it's a perfect blend. I, I don't know. From how Amy acted and how she carried herself in this, like, 
for like it's she yes yeah, she's still like sonic we all know that's kind of amy's thing she's the self-proclaimed girlfriend but i like that she's got like her video game counterpart in her and then like she has more of her you know freedom fighter type of you know i can still handle things on my own type of thing and especially after like she's like you know i was the one really organizing everything you know in the resistance even though all they did was stand in a room but that's besides the point i'm trying to stop bashing forces i really think that they really make amy a really notable character and like her even going to the point of being like hey i wouldn't change anything about you because those are the things that i like about you and then even sonic being like hey would you come along with me i was like i mean i'm totally okay with it it was it was cool because like for amy amy would totally take that but she's got other priorities so those come first so I really like this cha I really like this issue or chapter or whatever you want to really call it. I I don't know if I like it more than one, but I like it equally as mount as much as I did one cuz one kind of establishes the friendship. I mean, I like how each issue is pretty much establishing um Sonic's relationship with 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 the characters as he's kind of like traveling along and trying to figuring out on um, what is Eggman behind if it is Eggman, but I mean, we saw Orbot and Cubot, so it is Eggman, but he's got this different approach this time. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what where it goes. But hopefully you guys enjoyed me talking about issue two of IDW Sonic the Hedgehog issue number two. I said two a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed it because I really enjoyed reading this. And if you guys want to see me talk about more IDW Sonic, I mean, just watch it. I mean, or just do show love on the video in any way, shape, or form. I mean, uh, let a friend look at it. Or, you know, if you got other Sonic people that like, you know, Sonic comics, maybe show it to them. I don't know. I don't know what you do with yourself. But I'm talking too much. And I'm rambling. So, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. If there is a next one. And, um, I'll see you guys later, right? Right? Cool. Peace.